what up connects how to be how to do what up wasabi wannabes all right today i've had so many people asking me so i wanted to bring it to y'all last video was about moon knight small kind of a fail small kind not i still think if i had a bigger proc i would have easily got it done today i actually want to try no now, I want to keep his build a surprise because I went ahead and tried and I actually was able to beat Null with Null. I want to see if I can do it again. Now, I, I don't really know the best team up for Null. I kind of just threw this one in there. Uh, I don't use Thanos or Deadpool um, for anything. So, kind of just gives him an additional all attack, but let's not give him that. Let's give him, because he's probably going to replace Sharon Rogers for me. So I'll probably put in Captain America. And let's put in somebody else I don't use. No, I don't want that because I don't want no team-ups. Let's just say Gambit for now. Because you have to bring in three people. So Noel gives himself an additional 60% all attack. For the Strikers, I'm just going to go ahead and bring that. I don't think I need um, Ancient One. I could be wrong, but I don't think I need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this team in here. Now, the rotation for Null is kind of tricky. And I was actually going to put a Rage on him, but I feel that I have his rotation down and I don't need it. So what you're going to do, three, cancel it right away. Five, cancel it right away. Four, once you see the dragons come up, straight into two. So three, three, five, four, C. He actually procced on that skill, which is not what you want, but you want to proc on two. This is fine, though. We'll go ahead and let it play it out. Now, when the T, uh, T3 skill is ready, five, four, wait till the dragons pop up, straight into six. Now, if you have time, go that straight in, into two, and you'll see all that damage just keep on flying by. It's kind of a hard rotation. Uh, it's kind of like Moon Knight. It's kind of a lot to remember. But if you can get it down, it's satisfying. So 3, 5, 4. Wait till the dragons pop up. Straight into 2. And then you want to be able to proc on 2. And there goes there goes the proc right there. So I'm going to wait this out. going to wait till I get snared uh, right over here. Remember, 2 is a continuous skill. So once you press 2, unless he gets guard broken or anything like that, He'll just keep doing the skill. So right away, five, straight cancel, right into four. Wait till the dragons come up, and then you do your tier three. Right here, three, five, instant cancel. Wait till the dragons go ahead off into two. Proc on the two skill. Remember, two is a continuous skill. So once you do it, you will continue to. So here, I'm just going to do five into four into two. It's not the proc that I want, but I'm just going to move him into the next phase. Now, the thing that I noticed about Null that I didn't notice about Moon Knight is that in the last seven bars for me, for this account, no additional, anything like that, doesn't need Mystique, he actually has the power to do it. So right there, I was able to do all that, do the sixth skill. I didn't proc, which was cool because then I proc on the second skill. Here, I'm going to switch because he'll probably die. I'm not going to do anything with Gambit. Um... I have him awakened. I'm saving crystals to either get a rage or an energy. Um, I don't know which one I want yet for Null. I may go for energy because he's doing so good. So we'll, we'll see though. Um, obviously rage is always the safer choice. But you know, right now energy is doing so much better for characters because of the chain hit damage, especially if you have pierce. So if you have pierce on your cards, like I do, I think I have 2% pierce. If you have that plus an energy, it's actually better than a rage. So hopefully I'll be able to get more pierce on my cards. Right now I'm doing another card and I have two blue stars so far. Which means I only need one more blue star to get an additional 2% uh, uh, additional pierce damage. And like, like I kind of said before, I've lost some attack, but I've gained pierce 
And I've actually seen not a much of a difference. Even though I've lost maybe 8% all attack. And I've lost probably about 10% energy attack. I actually haven't noticed that with the Pierce. I feel like the Pierce makes up for that. And, um, but, I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> you know, I'm not... I don't do this for a living, obviously. You know, uh, I wish I could. Because if I could, I would, uh, you know feed the homeless mainly myself <laughs> forget the homeless i need the money i need this boy i try and buy the lamborghini now the thing i like about no is that he can actually push this phase right here um so yeah just do that normal skill i didn't proc on the sis skill which is fine i'll go ahead and do the second skill proc on that one now, what I also like about Null, too, is that he, um, you don't need a heal. He kind of already has a heal, and if he gets down all the way to 1% of his life, he actually will stop taking damage for a time. So there it is, a complete solo by Null, stage one. Um, those strikers right there, all they do are adding 10% damage increase captain america and gambit aren't doing anything gambit is unfinished doesn't even have an obelisk or a cpt captain america only has an obelisk i've really stripped him of everything because he's fallen off of the meta now i want to show you the build for null this is the crazy part i'm able to do stage one of null with this build gears at 20. yes i have some odin's blessing but look at all of the other available slots. I can give him critical rate, more critical rate. I can give him more attack speed. I can give him more health, uh, anything that I choose. Now, remember, he doesn't really need too much crit rate because you got to check the skills. This one right here, 45%. So I'm actually wrong. He actually doesn't need any critical rate. He does have a stage 12 power of angry Hulk reason being that you want stage 12 that 40% increase to all attack. Here is the custom gear. You think I have an obelisk? You think I have a CTP? I was able to beat Null stage one with a 30% crit damage 120 proc. Can you imagine if I put a CTP of energy or a rage, how much more harder he's going to hit? Now, I didn't even personally think I think I could do this. But as you can saw, I wasn't struggling against Null. I did him quite easily. He wasn't dying. And this is the skill right here. I think it is uh, not that one. Right here. So when his HP falls below 5%, he gains guard break immunity and he doesn't take damage for six seconds. And then he recovers 75% of his damage. So as you can see, I never really took a lot of damage. So I really didn't need to heal. Even if I got into trouble, this is like a second life. This is like you resurrecting. Now, Null is an amazing character, but he is an expensive character. I'm not telling you to build him, but this is merely to show Moon Knight with a 140 proc, higher crit damage, ignore dodge, wasn't able to do what Null was able to do. Now, I know what you're going to say. He had more of a percentage of all attack, but to me... This Null could probably do stage two, whereas Moon Knight couldn't even do stage one. Gotta love it, man.